All right, this is grade four, module four, lesson four, lots of fours here. And in this lesson, we're going to be learning about parallel lines. And um, so let's get that going. I'm going to squeeze that up there and get it out of the way so that I can show you. An example of parallel lines are two lines that when they continue, when they can, could continue forever, all right, so they never intersect. So this line would would be going forever in both directions. Oops, this line is going to go forever in both directions. And the two lines never intersect. So that's what parallel means, is that these two lines never intersect. Now, <clears throat> if I drew a line segment, a couple of line segments, so let's say I draw this one, and I'm trying to make it straight, and then I draw this one. Well, they don't intersect because right now they're just line segments. But if I were to continue each of these lines, like if this guy were to continue, and then this guy were to continue, boom, they would crash if they wouldn't crash on this side, on this side. But they're all, they are going to crash way over here. So even though these two line segments didn't quite intersect. If I had extended them, they would intersect, so they're not parallel. <clears throat> so not only do they not have to, uh, parallel lines, not only do they not intersect, but they would never intersect no matter how long we extend the lines. So let's get that going again. So parallel, not parallel, all right? now. If we want to show that two lines are parallel but our drawing isn't quite perfect, uh, the way to do that is to draw a little arrow right in the middle of the lines. So this says that this line and this line are parallel because they have that little the red, in this case red, arrows. They don't always have to be red. So let's say this, I want to show that these two lines are parallel. Um, I'm going to draw a little arrow and a little arrow right here. So that's the way to show that I'm tr even though the picture might not look perfectly parallel, I want it to be in your mind's eye. And that's one of the reasons I love math is math allows you to see things in your mind that might be physically impossible to do in real life. Physically impossible like drawing two perfectly parallel lines. Um, clearly, these two line segments are not parallel because they would intersect if we uh, extended them. Now, the way we notate parallel lines, so let's call this A, B, and let's call this line C, D. So if we want to show that A, B is parallel to C, D, the way we write that is we would write A, B, and because it's a line, I'm going to put the arrows, is parallel to C, oh, I'll put DC, same thing, and uh, I put the little arrows there. Now to show that those two lines are parallel, we use that little symbol. So it's a little representation of parallel lines. So uh, let's do another one, like if this is uh, EF, oops, E and F, and this is G H. So if I want to show, and I'm going to erase all of this. Well, I can't erase it. Okay. Um, if I want to show that E F is parallel to G H, I would write E F and a line segment, and then I'd write G H and a line segment. No arrows because these are segments, and then I would use the parallel symbol like that. So I'm showing that. The line segment EF is parallel to the line segment GH, and that's what these arrows also show, is that these two lines are supposed to be parallel. So let's put this into practice. So we've got this figure. It kind of appears to be a rectangle of some sort. And uh, if it appears to be parallel lines, we're going to assume that it's parallel lines for this problem. And I can see that right here, OP and MN appear to be parallel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw little arrows to say, yep, these lines are supposed to be 
parallel, or line segments. And then the way I'm going to notate it is I'm going to say line segment OP is parallel to line segment MN. And then I can see that it looks like we have another pair of parallel lines right here. So let's call this PM, and PM appears to be parallel to ON. So I'm going to draw my little arrows, and then let's notate that. So PM and ON, and they appear to be parallel, so I'm going to do the little parallel symbol. And so that's what this set of problems is all about. Identifying line pairs of lines that appear to be parallel, and then uh, draw the arrows to indicate that, yes, they are supposed to be parallel, and then identify down here uh, how to write that. So I thought I'd include this question, teachers and parents, uh, because I thought this was kind of tricky. So it says, true or false, all shapes with a right angle have sides that are parallel, and explain your thinking. So uh, I th the, the idea is, let's either come up with an example where we can find a figure that has a right angle, but n no parallel lines. Or maybe every single instance of a, sh a figure with a right angle, they always have parallel lines. For example, you might say, well, here's a right angle, and if we complete it, oh, there we go. We have a rectangle, and we, it looks like we've got a couple of parallel lines. So, ooh, we're not sure yet. Or we can even do another one here where, okay, we've got another right angle, a couple of right angles, but ooh, here. So in this case, we only have one pair of parallel lines because these guys are definitely not parallel. So is this a true statement or a false statement? Because so far, <clears throat> if it has a right angle, it, it seems like there's going to be some parallel lines as well. But I can think of, and teachers and parents, it would be really cool if you gave your students plenty of uh, ex exploration time to really think about this, to see if they can come up with an example of a figure that has a right angle and yet no parallel lines? I'm going to give an answer here, so if you don't want to give the answer away, hit the pause button, but here's one example. Here's my base, here's my right angle, and I'm going to indicate that as a right angle by drawing the little thingy thing. And then, oh, let's say I'm going to go up, and then down like this. So there's a, a figure, it's a quadrilateral because it's got four sides, but there's no parallel lines anywhere, and yet we do indeed have this right angle down here. So, true or false, all shapes with a right angle have sides that are parallel? That answer is false because I found an example of a figure that has a right angle and then, um, and yet, does not have any parallel lines. Hi, I just came up with another example. It says all shapes, and for some reason I was thinking four-sided shapes. But what happens if you draw a three-sided shape with a right angle? Of course, that's a triangle, right? There's a right angle and no parallel lines. So there's another example of it being false. So that ends up being a false statement all the way around. So I thought I would include this one uh, particularly for the parents at home because uh, this is asking students to recreate a skill that they learned specifically in the classroom that I think um, very few people would have learned or would remember how to do. Uh, pretty much this is an old concept, this um, question, and I'm pretty sure that most parents experience this in, um, oh, high school, definitely. Um, but this is a fourth grade, and that might be a surprise, so I thought I'd go through it. So step one says draw a line using your straight edge. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my little protractor here, and I'm going to draw a straight line. And I will do that here, and I'm going to use this as a simulation of me using a straight edge. All right, so now um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup these two guys, 
and then, ah, there we go, so there's my line. And now, uh, yikes, move, 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 move. Um, so now, I'm going to arrange this, move it backwards, and now I can have this guy. Awesome. Okay, so now what we're supposed to do is, whoa, we are supposed to take, go away there. I want you here and you here. Good. Okay, so now what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to take our protractor and arrange it so that it is showing 90 degrees. So I want to make this guy go backwards. Send to back. Good. So now uh, I want I'm going to try and create my protractor so that he is um, perfectly 90 degrees. All right, so there. Pretty close. Pretty close. So let's get that moved a little bit. Ah, there, nice. So there's my, my 90 degrees. And what we're supposed to do is draw another line going right along that straight edge there and then I'm gonna ungroup it because it's kind of annoying this way but I have to ungroup it okay and then I'm gonna slide down my protractor and my protractor is gonna tell me ah here is another line and again, I have to ungroup it. I don't know why I have to do that. Oh, that's kind of annoying. But anyway, so now I can get that protractor out of the way. And I can now see that this line and this line are perfectly parallel. And how do I know that? Because I use this protractor to create a per perpendicular lines, pair of lines up here and then a perpendicular pair of lines down here. And so that's how we can create parallel lines. And that wraps up Lesson 4 from Grade 4, Module 4.